Well, Charlie's Labradoodle, and we've had him for three years uh, from when he was a puppy. We got him from a breeder near Arundel, didn't we? And he's always been a very calm dog, hasn't he, Bob? Very, um, won't say well behaved, he was quite naughty as a puppy, but he's turning into quite a very good dog. His role at the, at the hospice is, is just to go around and, and meet patients, staff, uh, volunteers, who want to meet him. The dogs um, or cats or whatever. They can have a very calming influence on people. Um, and we felt that he was the right temperament, so that's how he came to do it. And um, the idea is that they, people will, they probably miss their own pets or they like to, to touch dogs and it calms people down. He can, even at home, he'll sense when one of us isn't well or one of us is, needs a bit of comfort, and he'll come and sit by us and uh, put his paw up to say what's the matter and he won't leave our side and quite often you can just stroke him at the end of his day and it feels really relaxing I think that's what people get out of it that the, the contact the, the tactile you know that, that's what I feel that pets and therapy yes. offer yeah they? they do yeah mm.